Hey there, Mike from Advantage Goalkeeping. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Adidas Predator Goalkeeping Gloves. So, ordered a brand new pair from Soccer.com. This is a $120 pair of gloves. So I'm gonna take the glove out of the, the box here. And uh, so what you'll see when you get this glove right out of the box is you have plastic. It's uh, not super tight on it, but it is on there. I'm gonna leave it on there because I wanna be respectful of the glove uh, and show you what it's like when you pull these out of the box. So this is the Predator made with the URG 2.0 latex. I don't know what that means because that is a proprietary mix uh, or a latex that's manufactured, mixed and manufactured for Adidas. Um, it does have a very soft feel, so it's, it's tackiness, it's stickiness is probably gonna last longer than a lot of gloves. Um, also means that durability is gonna be uh, a little less than some of the others, but generally speaking, if you're a professional, you're a, or you're a college goalkeeper or an elite high school goalkeeper, um, you're probably not as concerned. You're, you're gonna make that commitment to invest in your gloves because you're gonna find a glove that you like. Um, so let's go ahead and slip this thing on, get our impressions. So by the way, I'm a size 10. I wear a size 10 in most uh, brands that are out there. Wow, very snug. Uh, the, the Adidas Predator is made with what they call the Demon Skin Knit. So I don't know how well you can see that. You've probably seen it in other pictures. But this is a knitted material. This is not an airprene. Uh, it's not latex. It's not neoprene. This is a knitted material. So my initial, my initial impression when putting this on is this is a big glove, which is very surprising to me. Uh, big glove meaning length in the fingers and, and fit in the palm. It's very surprising to me because most Adidas gloves, the feedback that we get and what we've experienced in wearing Adidas, you know, about four years ago, uh, was that Adidas generally fits a little smaller. So if I'm a size 10, um, I would wear, I would order an 11 in most models of Adidas. Now, this is where this is interesting. This feels very different. So my fingers are all the way up into the glove. But if I look at this glove, I have a lot more pinch in there than I would get on most other gloves. So let's see what happens if I pull these down just a little bit. Okay. It's an uncomfortable feel for me personally because there's still too much room up in the fingertips. Um, I feel like if I wanna pull this down a little bit, I'm really pinching fabric down here in between my fingers. Uh, but it is very lightweight, very flexible, and like any professional glove, no finger saves, doesn't even have uh, room within the glove to put them in. But again, that's what a professional or a college or a, an elite high school goalkeeper would expect is to not wear a finger save or even use a finger save. Um, you can see on the latex here, the URG 2.0, they have compressed to be able to give you a more natural uh, movement of the latex, which is nice. I do like that because it keeps from bunching up on the palm. However, um, I'm just not comfortable with the length of the fit. And this honestly really surprised me because again, most Adidas gloves are known for being a little bit tighter. And generally, if you come from a more traditional glove, like a, a West Coast or an older Rouge or an older Nike, you, um, you, you're gonna wanna go a size up for most of their gloves compare. So this is the uh, Adidas Predator. Uh, this is a $120 pair of glove that we ordered from soccer.com. Um, so if you're looking at the Advantage goalkeeping lineup of gloves, what would this glove most compare to? Well, let's grab that one and I'll show you. So we're gonna put this one aside and I'm gonna grab the ADK Pro Shield Extended Palm. So I'm gonna slide that glove on here. Okay, so the, the AGK Pro Shield Extended Palm is exactly that. We extend the latex further down the wrist. So this is gonna be more similar to the Adidas. Okay, so this is German contact latex. We leave the plastic on to protect the latex. Um, when you receive this particular glove, you peel the latex off, you wash this glove immediately, let it dry for about a day. Now this glove is made using neoprene. Now most of our gloves going forward are gonna be made with airprene, uh, which is a little bit lighter weight and a little more breathable, but this is neoprene and this is a very lightweight, breathable, flexible material. So you can see here, I can move my hand freely and the glove goes with it. If I make a fist, the fingers go with it, the fingers don't slide. Now this is a size 10 as well. So we're gonna pinch there, you get the right amount, you get about a half inch there. And then you can see it's a fitted glove similar to 
the Adidas Predator. Um, this glove does have a silicone punch zone on the back where the Adidas Predator has the grips, the rubber grip. This glove does have a wrist strap. It's a shorter one piece strap that wraps around. Because it's neoprene, it does give you some flexibility and a, and a personalized fit on that particular glove. But this glove, similar to the Adidas, the Adidas has a negative cut. It wraps around the finger just a little bit more than a traditional negative cut. And it gives you a little bit more of a roll at the fingertip. I wouldn't call it a roll finger fingertip, but it's, it gives you a little bit more roll. Um, on the AGK Pro Shield uh, extended palm, it is a hybrid cut, so you get negative and then you get a roll tip finger and a wrap over thumb. So this glove is $78. This is the AGK Pro Shield Extended Palm. Check it out.